Ah, saludos, Rigo. Puro poliacaso, ¿no, viejo? Welcome to the channel everybody, today we have this Cummins ISB of uh, 2013 uh, Freilander M2 and um, uh, the problem that this engine was having was it was making noise was uh, making a specific noise coming from the rear area of the engine of course the owner of the truck didn't uh, pay attention or simply didn't care at the moment and this uh, just kept uh, the engine on, I um, mean, kept uh, the engine over the road, the truck over the road, and you know, like uh, making money. You know, it's pretty tough right now, it's understandable, but you know, when this happens, usually the cost of repair skies rock like super, super high, and that's what's happening to this truck right now. So, what we have here is an uh, open engine that had the software damage on cylinder number six, and the reason why it suffered damage is because the cylinder head. Uh, drop a ball inside this, the combustion chamber and as consequences other cylinder balls were dropped as well so if you get closer here come to say you can see the damage right on piston on the piston number six that is completely destroyed piston damage all over the place uh, of course now then we know that we have the damage there cylinder liner is bad piston is bad and there is nothing to do, there is no um, a way to repair this without removing the cylinder liner and removing the uh, piston. As you can see here, this is the way a piston in a good condition should look like. This is a good piston, the shape and everything has to look like this. So uh, if, um, if there is any damage on the piston, you're going to be able to notice a cut, a sign, a crack or something then the piston is going to have um, things coming from any places for cylinder ball or something that went inside when you replace injectors or something like that but in that case completely that case if you see then your engine has a damage like that this uh, this damage didn't happen overnight this was a, a damage that happened like after many miles of use so that's what i'm saying um, this uh, person, the, the owner of the truck, uh, knew then uh, the engine was making a noise and didn't take care of the engine on time, causing a problem, a major problem. Um, to repair this problem, probably we're gonna be uh, spending around like ten thousand dollars, probably something like that, because it's not just only the piston and the cylinder liner that is bad; it's also the cylinder head that is bad. See the head is on the rear of the vehicle. We're gonna go check it out. So we have the cylinder head right here, and we can see the damage of that. That is a super severe damage. There is nothing to do. Um, three out of the four balls are completely destroyed, completely gone. Uh, sadly, this cylinder head is not repairable. We cannot take it to a machine shop. Uh, well, all we can do is just buy a used cylinder head or buy a new straight from the dealer. Um, there is nothing else to do. And as I say, this is a problem that couldn't be prevented. Um, could be prevented if the owner of the truck decided to repair it on time. But you know, it's very hard. I understand sometimes, and it's very hard in situation. Then you have to keep the engine, the truck running because you have to make the extra money to do payments or to, to do your own expenses to maintain uh, all the expenses you have uh, at home. It's understandable, but if, if uh, it comes down, then the problem is very severe. You're gonna be spending twice as much than uh, whatever uh, the problem was initially, because if, uh, if this problem uh, would have uh, taken on time, uh, repair on time, we, we just needed to replace the cylinder head and that's it. But now the engine is completely destroyed, so we need to uh, get the pistons, basically the whole overhaul kit. Uh, as we were talking to the owner, the owner wants to do an engine swap. He wants to get a used engine because it's going to be a cheaper route and faster route. Uh, so installing a used engine probably is going to work, but we don't know in the condition uh, on what the engine is going to come. So probably we still going to take our chances. But that's what the owner wants to do. He was thinking about installing a new engine, but a new engine is very expensive. It's gonna 
you know cost a lot of money so still like a, it, it will take you know like some income from other sources to in order to repair this uh, problem but as it is now we know that the cylinder head is damaged because uh, a piston the one cylinder a cylinder uh, head ball dropped inside the piston and as consequence because the piston was smashing the cylinder the, the cylinder ball on the head it kept on breaking the other ones like it, it broke maybe like the other two and then at the end it broke the last one and then the engine got destroyed completely it couldn't run anymore because the engine was getting stuck and all that but as i say that if you hear any engine if you hear your Cummins isb or any engine in general then it's making sounds it's making weird noises it's not having enough power it's smoking or uh simply there is losing uh power on cylinder on one cylinder it's, it's better than you check it out better you you pay attention what's going on there because if you don't do it it's gonna be expensive later like this and uh, and it's gonna take a lot of time to get it repaired to get the truck back on the road and you know it's something that can be easily prevented if you have the uh the ability to recognize the sound or to or the amount of uh, we can say uh or the uh budget to repair the engine so with this uh, i finalized the video just going to show you something very important to keep on mind with trucks um, anything you see on your truck low oil pressure high temperature or something like that is better to take it take care of it as soon as you can because if you don't do it you're gonna pay a lot of money so if you have any questions just comment below uh, any recommendations anything if you have any experience with the uh, isb engines you can comment below as well and like the video share subscribe and thank you for watching